What's going on YouTube Universe? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd here with a TXR reaction video. One of you guys asked me to react to a movie feuds video. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't think I've ever watched movie feuds before. In fact, I don't even think it's even showed up in any of my news feeds for YouTube. But, one of you guys, I guess, wants me to react to it. So, this one is the original Star Wars trilogy. That means A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Versus the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I've seen both of these plenty of times. So, let's just get right into this. Let's see what this thing is all about. The original Star Wars trilogy used to be pretty hot shit, but now it's Lord of the Rings' turn. Adam thinks Lord of the Rings is better than Star Wars. I find his lack of faith disturbing. They're both kind of almost the same if you really sit there and think about it, to a degree. Star Wars versus the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition. I haven't seen all the Extended Edition. I want to, though. Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, Frodo, Fat Rudy, Agent Smith Fat with Rudy. long hair, Saruman, Sauron, this list goes on and on to the break of dawn. There's no question, Lord of the Rings has the ultimate cast. You can't really tell me that the Lord of the Rings cast is better than Star Wars. It starred Elijah Wood in The Kid from the Goonies. Star Wars has one of the most memorable casts in movie history. It was the making of Harrison Ford's career and as Han Solo, as Luke well. Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Yoda... If Corey's honestly going to debate with me that Yoda, a uh, walking Muppet baby, is more realistic than Gollum, or even a better character, he's got another thing coming. Troubled Adam sounds. A healthy dose of the Force he needs. Okay, first off, I don't know what the f*** that just was. That was a terrible impression. It sounded like a cross between Arnold and Kermit the Frog. Secondly, no point was made there. What I'm getting at, Smeagol slash Gollum, perfectly fleshed out character. He's got the yin and the yang. He's in a crossroads between his personalities. I feel like Adam brushed over Liv Tyler a little bit in Lord of the Rings, and I know why. She is basically only there to cry. I can only imagine what it's like to live with her. Hey, I'm gonna uh, step out and go hunting here. Uh, are, you, are you okay where you at? Oh my god, you're crying again. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hey, I actually found a, I actually found a real cool Christmas tree. I think we could cut it down, put some lights on it, you know, have a nice little uh, fire. Oh my god, you're crying again. <laughs> uh, what did I say? Darth Vader's intimidating, talking through a scuba mask. But the real villain? Sauron. Why Sauron? Because he's always watching, looking, lingering. You dare test the power of the dark side? Spying, gazing. Oh, my God, was that necessary? Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine, the two greatest villains in sci fi history. Period. Mm. When it comes to story, nothing mm, beats the original tale meant to be a movie. Story? Okay. Lord of the Rings was an adaptation of a great book to turn into a 12 hour nature walk through New Zealand. He it's said nature walk through New Zealand. Yes. Gandalf, yes, this way. If you look over here, you'll see the Eye of Sauron. It's quite a treat. He's constantly watching and you know, you'll, you'll beat up and sweat because of the fiery eyes and everything. We also have some birds, uh, one of Saruman's many spies. Yes, they're two different people, Sauron and Saruman. School. Hey, just follow along. We, we have a long ways to go. We have extended edition here. Star Wars was great when I was a kid, and it's still a fun little flick, but I've grown up, and now I need something more mature to tickle my A battle okay. between good and evil, light side and dark side, the symbolism in Star Wars is unmatched even today. Every single scene had a purpose to the movie. I didn't feel like I was waiting around for anything. Frodo is shouldered with a terrible burden. The greatest burden of all, outside of having children. And that's destroying the one ring to rule them all. With just a small little band of misfits, they have to go through forests, ravines, hills and plains and creeks and valleys. And it's basically everything New Zealand has to offer. You can find it all in the uh, tourism brochure called Lord of the Rings. Come with me a little further on the tour, you'll see Legolas up there firing some arrows. Yeah, yeah. it's actually a douche, but, you know, he could kill you with one shot, so let's be cool. Let's be cool. We'll be we're cool here. <laughs> when I watch Star Wars, I know inside that none of the main characters are going to die. They're all going to save the world at the end of the day. Lord of the Rings, however, if you hadn't read the book like me because I'm illiterate, 
you would know that anything goes. And that's what I loved about it. At any moment, a key character can just die. A key example that comes to mind is when Gandalf gets taken down by the Balrog, only to not. come back to life like yeah, Frosty the Snowman. He wasn't killed, though. Lord of the Rings ever dies. How about Obi-Wan Kenobi giving himself up to teach Luke a lesson in the lightsaber duel with him and Vader? Go back and watch that. It's the equivalent of two guys shaking hands with lightsabers. I've seen better sword fighting in a men's bathroom with a complete stranger. I'm referring to penis interaction. From the story to the special effects, Lord of the Rings owes Star Wars for everything. Shall not pass! Somebody better call 3M, because the effects in Star Wars don't hold up. 3M is an adhesive company. They, 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 I mean, for time, they do. L-O-T-R, on the on other that. hand, L-O-T-R, short for Lord of the Rings, seamlessly combines CGI and realistic props I mean, don't to get make one they cohesive they did it film. Very well. In the effects category, there was nothing before Star Wars. Larry Cuba actually wrote the 3D technology for the filming of Star Wars. The same technology Ridley Scott used two years later in Alien. So I think what Corey's getting at is, although we really respect what George Lucas did, it looks like shit today. The sound effects were just amazing in Star Wars. Everything from the R2-D2 noises to even Moss Eisley's Cantina song. <laughs> I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that's give Cory Wan Kenobi a win in a category, and that's for music. Lord of the Rings has fantastic music. It's some of the best music around, but Star Wars has been ramming that shit down my ear for the last 30 plus years, <laughs> so you know what? It's going to win. <laughs> I've stated my case, and now I've come to you at the turn of the tide to make yours for me. And that is that Lord of the Rings is the superior film. It's the superior franchise. Look what George Lucas has done over the years to Star Wars. Do you want to leave that with your, your kids to see? Or do you want to show them something good, something memorable, something that lasts? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk That's after Lord this. Star Wars is one of the most well-rounded sci-fi slash fantasy trilogies in the history of movies. It stood the test of time. Up against a bunch of other trilogies like Matrix and Lord of the Rings, it still holds up. Search your feelings, Movie Feud viewers. You know this to be true. Why are you crying? I feel like I need to end this relationship right now. This is not working for me. Hey, we're going to the Shire to get some... Oh, uh, she's crying still, isn't she? Yeah, that's she's all still she does. crying. This is what she Stop! Does. She just says, she's been there for what, 12 hours now? Yeah, that's all she does. I was talking to her dad the other day. She's just an awful individual. Mm -hmm. I mean, her dad, Steve. Steve yeah, Tyler. Steve Tyler. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, what I was going to say is that I have a set plan for my kids in terms of movies and stuff. Um, I definitely want them to check out a lot of the older movies, movies that have been in existence since before I was born. The problem, I think the problem with a lot of kids these days is that they don't, they're not, they don't see, they, they are not exposed to what we had to deal with or what we were exposed to when we were younger. You know, I'm 32 years old. So I'm in a perfect middle ground generation where we dealt with dial up internet and we got Wi-Fi now. You know, we were there, I was there for the VHS and now the Blu-ray and live streaming. I'm going to want my kids to check out all the older movies. I, I'm, I'm a big movie muff, muff, buff. I'm a big movie buff, if you guys haven't figured this out already. So, I'm going to expose my kids to a lot of the a lot of movies. All the movies, all the way up until their current generation. They're gonna understand how the they're gonna understand the progression of how movie making took place with each decade. So that way they'll have a better understanding and a better appreciation for what they're viewing on on a movie screen and TV right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. As far as Lord of the Rings versus Star Wars, I like them both. I like them both equally. You know, for what it's worth, Star Wars has stood the original trilogy that is has stood the test of time. You know, say what you want about the special effects and graphics and stuff. It still, to me, it still holds up. The Lord of the Rings is a very good epic series. Again, I haven't seen all of the extended versions. In fact, I was planning on getting them myself. I just got the original, 
theatrical cut. I don't have the extended versions. I'm going to get those as well. But I went to the movies. I saw all three Lord of the Rings movies in the theaters. Sat up for each and every one of those. Those things held my attention. So to me, they're both the same. They're both epic trilogies, if you ask me. That's the way I feel. In any case, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this movie feuds video. I may check out a couple more of their videos as well just to see what other movie, movie feuds they do. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy my reaction, hit the dislike button. Share this video with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Try to like nerd out. Peace.